moved here in a bus, a hippie bus. There might as well have been sky riding that said promise across the sky. <laughs> to be a potter in a potter community. And I came here to be a mother among mothers, raising kids in community. I thought, as the group did, that we could get along and work together on this project with both alternative energies and construction and artists. When I started building the house, I had $1,000 and some old windows. I thought that was enough. girls had a whole pack of girls to hang out with and run with, and they had such an imaginative and free and wonderful childhood. They would kind of migrate from one person's house to the next, like go to somebody's house for dinner and then sleep there and then go to somebody else's house for breakfast. I love everybody at the ranch. My own personal philosophy is love is the answer. There is a web of life and that we're all intricately connected. And I knew that because I took LSD. <laughs> How do you rebel when your parents are such rebels? You know, it's kind of tricky. For God's sakes, we didn't realize it was gonna last this long. We gotta get some young people, otherwise none of us will have the energy to drag the chairs out here. That was the big push when I became a member of the oh, we need young blood, yeah. Just kind of following our parents' footsteps. It's kind of like the Dick and Jane of the hippie kids set. Phoenix Fuller, Thelonious Trueheart Skookum River Blythe Ford, was born here in this house, just upstairs. I'm excited that my children get to have just the most awesome, radical grandmother that you could ever imagine. <laughs> There's that feeling that I'm still 28 years old. But here I am in this body, and there doesn't seem to be a good correlation between the inside and the outside. I was so certain that we were too cool to get old. You know, it was, wasn't going to happen to us. I have no fear of death. I think it's probably nothing, but if it ain't nothing, it's something, and it'll be interesting. I think it's kind of an interesting experiment just in anarchy, like what do people do when left to their own resources? <laughs>